You never really meet an ignorant gay guy. Now you never meet a gay guy who's like, I only love three things. My truck, my gun, and dick. <laughs> you never hear that, you know? Yeah, and I had a guy say to me once, hey Mark, you like gays so much, but what if you had a gay son? I wouldn't mind having a gay son. Having a gay son's like finding a french fry in your onion rings. <laughs> you know, you're like, well, it's not what I expected, but I like these too. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, I'll tell ya. Homophobia, that's a weird one, huh? Any homophobes here? <laughs> All right. I, uh, I did some shows in Boston recently. I was talking to this guy after the show. I told him about a friend of mine who's gay. This guy goes, you have a gay friend? I wouldn't even shake a gay man's hand. I was like, Jesus Christ, why not? He goes, you know how many dicks are on that hand? I was like, well, you shook my hand. Are you okay with my dick? Because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of interaction between the two, all right? Yeah. Wow, that is terrible logic. You know who else touches a lot of dicks? Women. <laughs> yeah, man, they put them all over. You're screwed. <clears throat> uh, I just got an email from a hot gay guy. This hot gay guy emailed me, gorgeous gay man, smoking hot. What a bummer I'm not gay. This guy's a 10, all right? A hot gay guy having a crush on you, it's kind of like finding a million pesos. <laughs> And now you're like, well, I can't do much about this now, but once I cross that line, I'll be set. 